Oh, dude, really? Oh, man, they flattened this out. Come on. What you guys doing? They made the ramp out of it. They made it smoother. Oh, that sucks. Thanks so much, man. I got one more coming. Thank you. Haven't been here in four months. Last time I was here was on my Ripley. I think we're coming up to that uh, boulder that I couldn't clear on my Ripley. The bike with the more air in the rear shock to proper um, recommended pressure for my weight and lowering down the front end by uh, half an inch and moving the saddle back by three-fourths of an inch <laughs> yeah it's quite it was, it was bad setup when I had it a couple days ago anyway doing all that right now the bike is and the tire it's not max grip. It's max there. Dissect there. Feels pretty efficient. Pretty efficient. I think we're here. Let me just make sure I'm on the right here. Left is it. Let me give it a shot. Oh man, that is a hard line. I have to weave around these rocks. Ay, my goodness. <laughs> That wasn't a hard line. Let me do that again. It's so easy on this one. I was expecting it to spin out or stall. Like the Ripley. Jeez. Stump jumper. Horse link. <laughs> I was still trying to figure out the line and then just went in. Yep, let's go. So much easier on this bike. Giving myself a hard time on that Ripley. Damn, I didn't come here for four months because of those damn boulders. I remember cleaning this on my Heckler easily. And then I did it uh, two tries on my stump jumper. And I remember saying, man, it would have been so much easier on a 29er. And then I got the Ripley, I couldn't climb it. <laughs> it actually felt harder. But then now with the 29 on this bike, the stump jumper, yeah, it's easy. Yeah, not easy, it's easier. Go, I just gotta commit. I found a, I don't know if that's the line, but it's kind of intimidating though. Yeah, it looks so easy, right? I couldn't clear it. 
with the Ripley. Have you seen that video? Yeah, when I couldn't cle clear it.